guys, welcome back to my channel, Health Lair. Dr. Vedo here. So today, I want to talk about something that's really, really important, especially for doctors trying to get into residency. I'm going to be talking about what matching means, what match day, match week is. For those of you who are in medicine, you know exactly what this is. If you're not in medicine, then this is going to be really good and really important for you guys to understand the struggles that doctors go through to practice medicine. Um, so I'm going to be talking about my journey through it, I guess, and I'm going to talk about um, the process of matching and how that actually works. Um, and then I'm going to talk about my emotions and my feelings of how I felt uh, when I found out I matched and then the day I found out where I matched. Uh, so I hope you're ready for it because here it comes. Let's get started. So here is what's important to know, crucial actually. Medical students who graduate from medical school, if they do not match, they cannot practice medicine. The way you practice medicine is by matching into a residency of your choice. What can this be? It can be psychiatry, which is a four-year program. It can be neurology, another four-year program. It can be family medicine, like me, a three-year program. It can be internal medicine, another three-year program. Pediatrics, another three-year program. It can be surgery, or like general surgery, or even OBGYN, and those are both surgical specialties, so they're five years long. So depending on what you choose to get into, your training length is different. And so what you need to do is choose what specialty you want to practice, and then you have to apply to that specialty using a special software that helps you find what programs are available, what residencies they offer, where they're located. Um, it gives you the links to their website so you can go and check them out and you can read about them and see if they match up with what you're looking for. And so it's, um, it's a software that really helps medical students and even medical graduates that are applying again to match if they didn't match previously. Uh, it helps them figure out where they can apply for residency. For those of you that are not in the medical career or or have not applied yet to the match. I'm gonna explain what the match is and how it works. So basically you apply to all these programs starting September, I think it's September 15. And then you can start getting interview invitations through the software. And so you can accept or decline the interview. And so it behooves you to go to as many interviews as you are offered. But it's important that you apply to programs that you're interested in attending and to begin with, because if you're not interested in going there, then the interview that was given to you was taken away from someone else who really wanted it. So make sure that you're choosing wisely places that you would be willing to go. Uh, I'm going to do, be doing another video uh, later on, maybe next week, on the things that you should consider as an IMG who struggled with your step scores and how you should be choosing programs because I think that this is really important too. And Match 2020 is coming up, so starting this September, later this year. So this is something I really want to talk about. Okay, so moving on. Basically, you get interview invitations, you accept or decline, and then you go. And then once you go to all these interviews, say you get 10 interviews throughout the whole season or even 12, uh, it's your job to make sure you write down as much as you can about these interviews and these programs and the people. Because you're like around February, you are given a deadline. Okay, you need to rank these programs in a list in order from the number one choice that that's exactly where you want to go it's your favorite program that's where you want to attend to your second your third your fourth and so on and so on and so on so what happens then the programs that interviewed you do the same thing every applicant that they interviewed they put them in a list in order of preference and then the match is basically like an algorithm and the program starts moving around its wheels and stuff um, and then it takes your preference into higher account than the program. So for example, say your top choice is, I'm gonna make this up. I'm gonna say your top choice is the color red, your second choice is blue, and your third choice is yellow. Um, if the color red, they have eight positions available and they set you as number one, and the color blue sets you at number one, and the color yellow sets you at number one, but you put red first, that is where you go. Now, if the color red put you at number eight, and blue put you at three and yellow put you at three, you still go with red because you put red first and you fell into their match list in red as well. So as long as you're in their top eight, if that's how many positions they're offering, and you put them first, that's where you're going, okay? So it's kind of like a match. Someone said it was funny. Someone's like, oh, it's like Bumble and Tinder. If you, if you swipe and they swipe and you match, sort of. Yes, it's a little bit more scientific than that, but kind of. And so it's kind of really important that you rank programs, not in the way that, oh, I really think I'll, I'll, I'll get the job here if I put this one first. Don't do that. 
because it's gonna take your preference into account. So put the one you really want as number one. So uh, my number one was a program that was here in Miami because I wanted to stay close to home. And then once I knew that all my other interviews were outside of Florida, I was like, okay, now it just comes down to the belief system of the program, the faculty, the staff, and the residents. And that's why I chose my program, South Baldwin Hospital in Foley, Alabama, as my number two choice because they basically said exactly what I put in my personal statement. And so that to me was very important. So I matched with them and I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to start, I start in July. So after you submit your rank order list, which is in February, you have to wait until March to find out. This is like the most nerve wracking experience of your life because you've done everything you could up to that point. You went to the interviews, you did as well as you could to explain who you are, to give them a view into your life and what you believe in and how, you will, how will you add to their practice basically. And there's nothing else you can do except wait. And the waiting part is the worst part of the entire thing because it starts giving you anxiety. Um, I know that during the first few weeks after I submitted my rank list and I couldn't make any more edits to it, which is I think February 20th, um, I couldn't change it anymore. So that was the final order. So when that happened, I was very nervous because I said, I hope I didn't make a mistake. And you start second guessing because you start getting that fear. Don't second guess yourself. The way you order the list is how your instincts are telling you that you should order your list. And that is what you should follow. Follow your gut. Follow your heart. Don't rank programs the way anyone else says. Just follow what you feel inside. Okay? And that's very hard to do because you're afraid, right? That fear is destabilizing. Okay, so then you're waiting until March. Now, this is the really annoying part. Okay, so the Monday of match week, they send you an email and they say, either congratulations you've matched or they say sorry you failed to match now i have received that sorry i failed to match email before and it is crushing i know exactly how that feels i've been there but there is light at the end of the tunnel so that's not the end it just means mm, this is not the path for you go around the obstacles so you're gonna have to take a little longer journey to get there but you will get there so what is the match exactly how does that work it's a mess it's it's the most intense time of a medical student or a medical graduate's life it is nerve-wracking you start self-doubting you start wondering whether or not the interviews you went on were good interviews you start doubting the connections you made with the people you had in the interviews you start second guessing yourself and your and your choices because you're afraid um and for me first as someone who had been through the match twice before i was terrified and so um i think that that feeling of fear is normal i felt it every year that i applied uh but more so this year but i think that those feelings of fear it's because if you don't match you're losing something that you've worked for a very long time for and so for me giving up on the dream was never an option so i kept trying to to do things to improve my chances to improve my the way that the program would see me to improve my 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 basically my qualifications as a candidate um, and so that's what I did when I didn't match the first time and then I did it even more when I didn't match the second time and then this third time around I did match and so I feel like I'm very grateful and I'm very proud and I'm trying not to get emotional because um, you guys are gonna think I'm a crybaby but I shared my stories on my Instagram I shared the day that I found out I matched I shared my emotions and how I felt and it it makes me not up because it's something that when you've worked for something your whole entire life because since i was little i always wanted to do medicine so when you work for something your whole entire life high school and college and all these things and then you apply to medical schools and there's a fight and you go to medical school and you graduate and then to not to be able to practice medicine that to me was just shattering um and i think that that's probably how a lot of medical students who don't match feel so for those of you who didn't match, please don't give up on the dream. It's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to have any emotion that you have. Um, experience it. You can't, you can't cover it with a Band-Aid. It's gonna hurt. So just, just feel it. And then once a few days go by, get right back up and plan that gap year so well that when you apply, people are gonna be like, wow, you really used that year so efficiently that you are an incredible applicant. So this is how I felt. And when I applied this year and I got accepted, I said, oh my God, all my hard work paid off. And it did. And so I wanna give you guys hope that if you don't match the first time and you don't match the second time, please don't lose hope. 
please, I hope you don't, because medicine is a kind of dream that if it's something you've always wanted to do, and if you don't see yourself doing anything else, then it's worth fighting for. You don't give up on things because it's hard or because there are too many obstacles. That should give you more strength to keep going at it and keep fighting for it because it is worth it. I did a live yesterday at seven o'clock on Saturday, March 16, uh, and I talked about this. And I think it's really important and that's why I shared that experience with all of you guys because I, I don't want you guys to lose hope just because it's devastating. Um, you always have to get right back up and keep going. It's, it's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with what's happened. Uh, okay, and there's always something you can do to grow. And I think that it provides you with different opportunities in your career and it's going to open doors for you. Always, always, like I've always thought this, that whenever one door closes, another one opens. And because you didn't do something the way you were planning on doing it, doesn't mean you should stop doing it. Uh, oftentimes, I've, I've repeated to myself throughout this whole entire process, I said, it's not what I want, it's not what I want, just give me what I need. Like, where am I supposed to be? Guide me. Life will guide you where you're meant to be, whether or not that's where you want to be. Um, so have an open mind um, and apply to programs that you find on a commonality with. For those of you that got the email that says, congratulations, you matched, I'm so happy for you. You guys don't even understand. Um, this is your opportunity to practice medicine and become who you've been wanting to become for a very long time. Um, this is the fruit of your labor. Uh, all those late nights studying, um, missing Thanksgivings or Christmases or birthdays or special occasions, not being able to be there when someone uh, is sick, not being able to be with family when someone passes away in your family. All of these things that you have done and sacrificed have paid off. And now you are a doctor. Now you can practice medicine. So for those of you that are not in medicine, as I said before, if you don't match, you can't practice medicine. You basically went to medical school and you can't be a doctor. You have a title medical degree at the end, MD, but you can't practice medicine. So this is why matching is so important. A lot of people don't realize that it's a very stressful time. This is the most stressful time in a medical student's life in a medical graduate's life and so the people around them are very important because since they haven't been through this experience of medical school and these kinds of sacrifices they've seen it from the other side but not from the person's side um, it's very hard for them to understand why they're so nervous and so anxious you can only apply to residency through this system once a year so if you don't match this time around you have to wait an entire year to reapply and to start medicine. So this is why it's such an important time for all of us. And so I am so proud for you if you matched and you got to where you wanted to go. If you didn't get into your top choice, if you didn't make it into your top three, it doesn't matter. The point is you got a match. You have a job, you can practice medicine. From here on out, it, you're doing what you've wanted to do. It may not be in the place you wanted, but it's about the way you react to what's happened. It's fine, you don't get to go where you wanted to go. Fine, it's a brand new city, you've never been there. Fine, it's a program that you put it as a, as a backup. It can happen, it's okay. But you know what? You will be a doctor and this is the future. This is the beginning of your future. So, so don't spoil it by filling yourself with negative emotions about it because there are people who did not match. So you cannot be ungrateful for the opportunities life has given you. You are a lucky one. Even if you didn't get the program you wanted, you are the lucky one. Because let me tell you something, the amount of people I know who went through the match and didn't match is huge. So it's up to you. Would you rather not match and then try again next year? Or would you rather be super grateful, maybe upset for the first few minutes, but then grateful that you have the opportunity to practice what you've been wanting to do for their whole life? So it's about perspective. Please don't lose that. It's very important to have. Um, so I just want to say that from my own experience, this match was very, it kind of shook the earth for me because it was a time when when you've heard, sorry, you failed to match before, you can't help but bring that baggage with you um, the minutes before you open that email. And I, I had my whirlwind. Like, I would be super calm and all of a sudden I start shaking and I start sweating cold and I start crying out of nowhere. I was just very anxious. I was terrified. And then when I got the email that said you matched, oh, God, you don't even understand. Oh, that feeling of when you open that email that says congratulations, you matched. For a second there, I think my pupils were so dilated 
from the anxiety and the the nerves that I couldn't read the email like it literally took me I think at least 30 seconds to actually read what the email said and then I was confused when it said congratulations so I'm like wait a minute why does it say congratulations and all of a sudden it says you matched I couldn't believe it I was like in shock and I was with my family and they were like what what and I was like ah, 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 ah. spit it out Beto I matched I matched and then we all started crying hysterically and hugging and I think it's a very important experience and for those of you who have never been through it it is something to be nervous about and look forward to at the same time and it's okay whatever emotions you have they're okay to have the point is that if you matched I'm so proud of you guys welcome to the medical field and we're all gonna be super amazing doctors uh, we have a bright future ahead of us and I can't wait to start this experience I'm really excited um, for those of you who didn't match I will tell you this I've been there. I know exactly what that feels like. But there's hope. So never lose it. If this is what you want. You don't give up. You fight for it. Fight harder. So when you do get it, you say, I got it because I fought for it. You don't give up on things you love. You fight for them. So fight and fight hard and use this year to, to open doors for yourself, to experience new things, to learn new things, to do things that are going to make you a better overall person and physician. Um, everything happens for a reason and I trust that. And I know it's not easy, but you should trust that. Everything happens for a reason and life gives you what you need, not what you want. If you're into prayer and you're religious and you pray for things, don't pray for a specific thing. Pray for your happiness. Pray for what's best for you because life will give it to you just you you pray for the right things okay and please don't lose hope because this is it's a magical time and you don't want to give up on something that you could have okay all right uh i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week well tomorrow's monday so i hope you have an amazing following week for those of you that matched i hope you do some fun stuff you know trying to relax and de-stress before you have to start residency for those of you that didn't match, I hope you start um, recuperating from the emotions that you're going through and then start finding another path to follow, uh, another path to residency, okay? Um, there are lots of things you can do. Just make sure you check out the live that I did yesterday at 7. Um, I saved it on uh, Instagram, so you guys can go check that out. And if not, ask me questions. Ask me here, comment here. What did you do? What should I do? Where should I go? I don't know, I don't know. I'm confused, I'm lost. These are all very, very unique emotions when you receive the fail to match. Um, and they happen to all of us. So uh, I really hope you don't lose hope. We pray for all of you. Uh, but everything does happen for a reason. So see it as an opportunity for something else for yourself. Um, as always, take care. I have an awesome week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. to see if they have any availabilities. <coughs> and then you can... <coughs>